Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be talking about the 2.4 update of Honkai Star Rail and my plans with it. Because frankly, to be completely honest, I'm a little disappointed with it. That's just me, you may have a different opinion. But today I want to talk about some of my characters and why I'm going to be skipping most likely all the banners that are going to be upcoming in seven days. Now before we do that, do make sure to subscribe. Only a small percentage of you are actually subscribed and... It really doesn't take that much time at all. So if you could just go down, click that subscribe button, and let's get in to our video. All right, so let's get into the main reason why I'm skipping all the upcoming banners and a bit of Kekvin lore too, if you don't mind. The main reason is the character right in front of you, Sparkle. If you don't already know, in the next update, Sparkle is getting a banner. You can see I circled it there with the big red line. She's gonna be on phase two next to the Fox dude, who I refuse to pronounce the name of for risk of being scrutinized over it. But basically, she has a lot of history on this channel and she also happens to be my favorite character in the whole game who i wasted a lot of my precious jades on i don't want to go over this whole thing again because i think i've showed this video or this clip like about 200 times on my channel but this video right here i just wanted one sparkle i spent legit probably the number of jades in the thumbnail which is unusual for my channel and i quite literally lost every single 50 50 i didn't win one i lost every single one it was insane we lost a 75 25 for her light cone and then we lost two 50 50s for her it was bad really bad and i want redemption so i'm saving every single last jade i have to get redemption on that banner currently we're sitting at a clean 10,000, but i'm not doing any polls at all until the sparkle banner releases hopefully by then i'll have staved up i'm hoping somewhere in the realm of 20 to 30k is my goal hopefully it's a little more than that but we're gonna see we're gonna see now the other main reason why i'm skipping the two banners is the characters that are on it of course let's talk a bit about them so i did watch this full version 2.4 live stream and needless to say i wasn't a big fan of the two characters yun lee is basically like clara <laughs> to be honest <laughs> I'm just gonna be completely transparent. It's legit just Clara 2.0. She's the same element. When she gets attacked, she does a follow-up attack on them. It's legit just Clara, but stronger, in, in my opinion. She is obviously stronger than Clara because she's a limited five-star, so they had to make her stronger, and they probably want to sell the character, so inherently she probably is gonna be better than clara and also i'll be honest her animations are pretty dope the huge sword big hit i think that's awesome i love her animations i think it's funny with the littlest character in the entire game holding the biggest sword but i just don't feel like she's a character i need on my account to be completely honest like i have clara and clara essentially does the exact same thing that she does same path same element like i just don't see a reason to get young lee on my account and waste my chance to get an e6 sparkle okay that's that's not gonna happen but i, I want to at least get the e2 if i can please <laughs> Now, it is a bit disappointing that I don't have Infinity Stellar Jades because not getting Yun Lee is going to limit my content for the character. But luckily, I do have you guys and I already have some people um, who are going to help me make Yun Lee content. So that's good. So I can at least, you know, cover the character and stuff. So that's a positive. Now, other than that, her HP restoration is pretty cool. I really like that. I think when she does her skill or the follow-up attack, I can't exactly remember. After one of those, she restores HP. That's huge for destruction characters in particular. You really like that HP restoration. Plus also I do notice around her ultimate, she does have like two versions of it, I think, similar to what Argenti has. So that could also be really good. We're gonna have to see though. Now, to be honest, Young Lee, I'm like 50-50 on. I like, like her, but like kind of don't at the same time. The next character, don't even get me started. Honkai Star Rail put out a tweet announcing this character way, way back, way, way, way back. And this has got to be like top 10 most deceptive tweets of all time. But bro, they literally call him a Foxian healer, underline healer. And from what they showed in this footage, I didn't see any healing. I didn't see any healing. 
Also, a lot of you guys have told me in my comment sections before that apparently he doesn't heal. So I'm pretty certain at this point he's not a healer. Although I can't completely validify that. But from everything I've seen so far, I mean, what's what's the point, guys? Like, he could have been such a cool character. Imagine him on the Nihility only account. Us finally having a sustainer. But man, it's just, it, he's just not that. From his kit, it looks like he's going to be obviously an Akron support. They even call him an Acheron support in this. That's kind of the entire idea of his kit is for him to work well with Acheron by defense shredding the enemies and applying debuffs on them, increasing ultimate damage, which is obviously huge for Acheron and is going to make Acheron more busted than she already is. But man, I just find it rough because I was actually looking forward to this character so much. His design I was already met on. Like this genuinely might be my least favorite design in the game. But if he was busted, I was still willing to pull him. And you know, maybe he will be busted. I can't say for sure. Maybe he's like the most insane Akron support. And to be honest, that face does scare me to death. But I feel like with healing, he would just be so much better. That's just my opinion though. The, the cooking thing is pretty cool. How he throws all the enemies in the hot pot and slashes them out. I do like the animation. And I do suspect he's going to be a very 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 good character but just not what i personally wanted um out of him which is unfortunate as for the actual event warp banners obviously i don't really care about hoo hoo i'm good i mean to be honest she is one of the only units i don't have i'm missing her luocha boot hill jing yuan but like boys let's be honest i got blue and what else do you need in the game other than a blue four stars i'm so so on i don't really need any of the ones here then for the second side obviously you boys know sparkle we're going all in all in and we will be winning every single 50 50 this time guaranteed i put out a tweet a couple days ago i said if we got 100 likes on this tweet we would live stream the polls it's at 98 likes and who knows i might be nice we might be able to round up but it does look like that we're going to be doing the first ever kekbin live stream since god knows when when was my last live stream Se seven months ago the first kekbin live stream in seven months to get e6 sparkle i say that but we will only have 20,000 jades but it'll be the most lucky 20,000 jade you've ever seen but with that being said that's gonna be all for our video today i hope you guys enjoy this little update let me know what you guys think of the 2.4 update are you looking forward to the characters are you not but anyways that's gonna be all for me and i'll see you guys in the next one peace